here. Jordan Fisher alongside me is commissioner of the GOVC conference, Jim Namovich. Has Jordan, that was outstanding, man. <laughs> They're hired. You. Thank you. Uh, so certainly, I mean, this is obviously a, a great event that you're putting on here. Uh, I was a part of this. The extra credit program last year had a lot of fun, obviously in a little different role this year. Uh, but what is just so special about this event? What, like, What's the opportunity uh, that you think that gives the students all around the GLBC? Well, I, you know, goal one for the GLBC conference office staff, and I've got a tremendous staff. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into hosting our conference championships, but but we want to make sure that it's it's a great championship experience for our student athletes. And in the case of basketball, giving them a wow factor with a bigger arena and student athlete hospitality and, and the attention, having the game streamed on the GLBC Sports Network so so people all over the world can tune in and, and families that maybe can't get to St. Charles can still watch their son or daughter or grandson, granddaughter, or niece, nephew, friends play. So uh, that, that's our goal is always to enhance the championship for the student athletes and, and give them a great experience. Now certainly the GOVC conference is one of the top ones in Division Two, and certainly it's a great tournament every year. Last year was an exciting tournament on both sides and so far I think today has been a good start. Obviously you got the men's game starting tomorrow, uh, but like with this conference tournament, what's the goal every year as far as just trying to put on such a show for the crowd? Couple, couple goals actually. Um, you know, we want to help prepare our teams that are going to advance to the NCAA National Tournament to, to provide them with a similar format that they're going to see at the regional tournament to help in that preparation. But for those student athletes whose season comes to an end, either tonight or tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday, if, if this, and they're a senior, if this is the last game they played in, did it, did it have that feel of a postseason event? And did it feel different than a regular season game? We hope so. And, and we certainly do everything in our effort to, to make that a reality. So... You know, preparation for the postseason, but just to make sure for those who aren't playing anymore or for those who will play that, that they had a memorable end of the 2015-16 season. So let me ask you, Jordan, what's, how do you like the, the extra credit program? Well, I think it's fantastic. I mean, I got to do it last year. did a lot of production truck last year. This year on play-by-play, -play, obviously, a bit of a different experience. Uh, this is really my first time doing a true TV broadcast. I've done some broadcasts back at USI. Uh, where we plugged our radio broadcast into it, but it's a little bit of a different experience. Something that's it's it's fun, it's different. It's I think the coolest part about it is, and this happened last year too. We met a lot. I mean, I know Evan and I know Tristan both on the staff here today. Uh, but last year we had six, seven kids I had never met other than Tristan, who I go to school with, and we just meshed immediately. And I thought it was cool just to see all that come together. We didn't really have any kind of prior engagements or anything like that. So I think it was interesting because of the fact that when you get in the real world, you're not going to be working with people you're comfortable with at first and right. so just to be able to jump in and blend together I thought that was that was a really cool experience uh, something I'm certainly very happy to be a proud of or be a part of and it's been great that I've been able to do it for the last two years outstanding so how long did you prepare for your your play-by-play -play debut tonight on GLBCSN because I know you've got a a lot of information you I, put together to prepare yourself to call the game. Yeah, I got a couple stat sheets here with the uh, recent results of both teams and different numbers from both players and uh I mean, just kind of do my normal work that I usually do. It usually takes about an hour or two, depending on how long I take. And uh, obviously the game notes help whenever it comes to that as far as if one's going to set a career high, double-double, stuff like that. Uh, but I think it's it's cool because I get to do – I don't view it as work, which I think is fantastic. What are your career aspirations? What do you hope to do after you graduate from USI? Man, I would love to find a play-by-play -play job for some professional team or college, something. Uh, that's kind of what I want to go into. But it's one of those things where – at this point, with those kind of jobs, they just kind of pop up out of nowhere. I mean, I'm set to graduate in May, so it's coming up quickly. Uh, but just going to kind of, I guess, roll with whatever happens and uh, see if I can find a job somewhere. And I don't know where that will be. I don't know if I'll have to move away, whatever it is. But I think it will be fun. It's going to be exciting. You have to be immune to geography. you got to oh. be willing to relocate. But this oh, will be yeah, a great absolutely. opportunity to add this to your portfolio, to be able to show – a potential employer or what you're capable of doing on air and preparation of and uh, preparation for and then execution of calling a game. That's great. Right, okay, well, you ask questions you. now. You're supposed to be in the right, right, so I'll ask you one more question then. So, I mean, we just talked a little bit about the, the GOVC Sports Network Extra Credit Program, obviously just in its second year. Uh, we kind of talked about just in general how great it is or whatever, um, but, like, where do you see this program potentially going? Well, we're involved in a, a major initiative within the league right now. It's called the GOVCSN Front Door Initiative, and that's how do we enhance and sustain the sports network for our member schools. Obviously, there's a cost of doing business, both on the on the production end and, and the software end. So we're, we're trying to figure out how do we make this all work, how do we integrate it into the curriculum if we can, so more students like you at all of our schools that have an interest in this 
um, feel can can have some hands-on experience during their college days at our at our member institution. So we want to continue to grow. This is probably one of the more exciting initiatives because we we are able to engage students in a conference project like this. And you guys have done a tremendous job. Uh, your attention to detail, your um, reliability, and your professionalism. You guys look good. You you, you sound good, and it's a it's a great representation of. Uh, intercollegiate athletics but higher education in general so how's that for an answer well, i think that's a, that great a answer. good answer that's, that's a yes. feel good answer so <laughs> thank you commissioner of the glbc jim Novavich here at the halftime show so we will step away for a quick break evan wilkes will rejoin me and we'll go through the first half stats here of our first game or our last game of the day first exactly. half for us as the lewis flyers are on top against the indianapolis greyhounds here on the glbc sports network we're champions are crowned <laughs> 